Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot, and I am here to do an After Dark reading. This After Dark reading is for the collective, so collective meaning all signs. <clears throat> so, my After Dark reading hours consist of 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. the next day. So, today is Friday, September the 16th, so it's from 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. the next day, Eastern Standard Time. So, again, this is for the collective. So, it's all signs. Collective, keep in mind and remember that this after dark reading could be your energy or somebody um, around you or somebody you're connected to. So, just keep that in mind. Your angel number, collective, is your energy. Like, your angel number is your energy. But the rest of the reading could be you or somebody you're connected to. So, just keep that in mind as well. Whew. So, I'm going to just go ahead and jump into the reading. So, <laughs> what's the collective angel number for after our hours tonight? Oh, collective, please keep in mind that the reading, it may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate, other parts of the reading might not. As well, keep in mind that timing is fluid, so this reading can manifest after our hours tonight. It can manifest later on down the line of time. Or this present reading could be past energy for you. If this present reading is past energy for you, then there might be in, then there might be answers or closure for you in this present reading that pertains to your past situation or circumstances. <laughs> so I wanted to say there might be energy. <laughs> so collective, you you're gonna resonate with this reading after our hours tonight. The energy is gonna resonate with you. All right. What's the collective's energy number for after our hours tonight? What in the world? Okay, number 66. I am positive. It's coming out sideways. <clears throat> in collective, I'm going to read it like that. It says, your guardian angel is teaching you the essence of, of unconditional love. You are encouraged to have faith that the universe will provide for you. While you are manifesting your inner desires. All right. So collective, you could be having a hard time after dark hours tonight being positive. You could be having a hard time. Collective, your guardian angel is trying to teach you the essence of unconditional love. You, the angels are trying to encourage you to have faith. That the universe will provide for you while you are manifesting your inner desires. So, Collective, you're having a hard time being positive. It came out sideways. And I was also guided to pull an angel answer for after the hours tonight. I was guided to pull an angel answer. So, some of you guys could have a hard time be remaining positive or just, like, having faith or keeping keeping the faith, Collective. So, you could be going to look, going through, like, um, Collective, you, you could be going through, like, a little bit of disappointment, upheaval. I'm hearing disappointment. So something is not going how you expected it or whatever the issue is. You're having a hard time being positive. But your guardian angels are with you. And they're trying to teach you the essence of unconditional love. They're trying to encourage you to have faith that the universe, the most high, will provide for you while you are manifesting your inner desires. So, Collective, you could be experiencing some type of upheaval or um, opposition or adversity or, like, blockages um, concerning whatever you're trying to manifest. All right. What's the Collective's angel answer for after, after the hours tonight? So, Reconsider came out in reverse. So, Collective, that's your angel answer. The angels don't want you to reconsider. The angels don't want you to give up. Collective, stick to your plan. Stick to... I'm, I'm hearing stick to, to something. Like, stick with it. Don't give up. So, you're contemplating, collective. You're tempted to reconsider something. But the angels is telling you, don't. Don't give up. Don't reconsider. Don't change your mind. You just could be experiencing, like, the downside of manifesting or some type of manifestation. Or you could just be having a hard day or whatever. So, some of you guys, I'm picking up, you guys could have had a hard day. And um, you could be tempted to give up. But I'm picking up don't. So 
So that's your angel answer. Don't reconsider. Don't give up. Then we have peace, peaceful resolutions at the bottom of the deck. So that's your angel answer. Don't reconsider. Don't give up. Collective, don't give up. That's your angel answer. And then what just flew out? New beginnings. So, collective, you could be experiencing some type of newness, but something that, something is not going exactly how you expected it. I'm hearing expectations. So, something is new for you. Um, collective, you could be experiencing something that's like home buyer's remorse. And spirit is telling you don't give up. Like... You purchased the home and now you're experiencing home buyer's remorse or something like that. That just came to me, home buyer's remorse. But spirit is telling you don't give up. Just, yeah. Some things is like just a part of life. So collective, you could be feeling as though you made a bad decision or you feel as though you did something foolish. But just remain positive collective and don't give up. I heard clearly that somebody is experiencing home buyer's remorse. Somebody is experiencing that. So, collective, you have a new beginning. You could be a first time home buyer, and things could be going wrong with your home, or things could be going wrong in your life, or going wrong with your finances. And Spirit wants you to know to not give up. You're a new homeowner, and you thought that things would be more better than they actually are. But spirit don't want you to give up. All right. So what's the collective's overall energy? Wait, no, I'm going to do that in a minute. Let me do that in a minute. So let me see. Let me pull some messages collective concerning love and romance. So what's the collective message concerning love and romance? What's the collective's messages concerning love and romance? After our hours tonight. Alright, twin flame. Alright. Give me one more for the collective. Oh man. So, Twin Flame, this is a divine counterpart connection. Collective, I'm going to just say it. Collective, you could be a first-time homeowner. And whether you a male or a female, a divine feminine or a divine masculine. Collective, you purchased your home with the, with the intention of you and your twin coming together. You was hoping that you purchasing this home um, made your relationship better. But collective, it's like your twin is probably not cooperating. Your twin probably don't want to come home or they're not at home with you after dark hours tonight. And you wanted to spend time with your twin. So something is not going exactly how you wanted it to go. But collective, regardless of the fact, your connection is a, this is a divine counterpart connection. So collective, you are inter interacting with your twin. But collective, this could be you coming out sideways, intuition. You already know the answer you seek. So collective, I'm picking up, you want to give up on your twin or you want to give up on like the twin flame connection. Because your twin is not cooperating with you. Collective, your twin is not doing something the way you want them to do it. And I'm hearing it again, expectations. So, collective, you could be experiencing disappointment concerning what you expected, whether you a first-time homeowner or not. Um, something, you're interacting with your twin, and they're not meeting your expectations. Collective, you already know the answer you seek, but you can be in denial or you're upset or something. So, you're not being um, as intuitive as you should be. Or you're fighting your intuition because things are not, not going the way you want it to go. Or something like that. Yeah, so. Concerning love and romance collective. You could be going through like um some type of upheaval. Some type of disappointment. 
your twin is like disappointing you or something like that. But it is your twin. This is a, a twin flame connection. But somebody is fighting with their intuition. It's your twin, but somebody is fighting their intuition. So that's what's going on concerning Love and Romance Collective. <clears throat> collective, you could also be in union with your twin. And you could be contemplating divorce or breakup. Or Collective, you could be contemplating kicking your twin out or like changing the locks or something. The spirit is telling you don't. Y'all could be in union or you could be married or something. You live with your twin. And collective, your twin is um annoying you. They're upsetting you. You're disappointed. And this could be you contemplating a divorce or a breakup. Or like I said, you could be thinking about changing the locks or something. It's Friday. Collective, you probably wanted your twin to spend time with you. Or collective, you and your twin had plans and your twin might um, disappoint you. They might not show up or something like that. So collective, you could be thinking concerning love and romance. You could be contemplating whether or not you made a bad decision to move in with your twin, to get a home with your twin, to marry your twin. But collective, the angels is telling you don't reconsider. You could just be going through, like, the downside of union or something like that. It's not saying that things won't get better or this is not your twin. You could just be experiencing the downside of marriage, union, living together or something like that. All right. But whether it's love and romance or not, the angels is telling you not to give up. They don't want you to give up, collective. All right, what's the collective's overall energy for after the hours tonight? What's the collective's overall energy? And we got abundance at the bottom of the deck right here. So collective, something is abundant. Whether you're annoyed or not, there's abundance in your energy. Whether you're happy or not, collective, there's abundance in your energy. Abundance. I'm hearing, collective, that you might have to tap in to manifest this abundance. Or bring something into reality or bring something into fruition. You're going to have to tap in. Because the, the abundance is there. So I'm hearing for some of you guys, you guys are trying to figure out how you're going to come up with some type of money. Collective, you, you need money for something. And you could be trying to figure out how you're going to get the money to like pay a bill or something. The abundance is there, Collective. You just have to tap in and be positive. Be positive, Collective. All right, give me a message for the collective. Give me a message for the collective. Give me a message. Dreams are coming true. So collective dreams are coming true. Give me one more for the collective. So dreams are coming true. That's always a good thing. Yeah, but there are hidden secrets. All right. So collective, your dreams are coming true after the hours tonight in some type of shape, form, or fashion. Dreams are coming true, but there are hidden secrets. There's hidden secrets, Collective. Your dreams are coming true, but there's hidden secrets. Tell me about these hidden secrets. Give me a message for these hidden secrets. Or Collective, it could be a secret that your dreams are coming true. Like you don't realize it. Something could be a blessing in disguise. Something could be a blessing in disguise or... Yeah, your dreams are coming true, but it's like a secret collective. So spirit could be keeping a secret from you or you don't realize something yet. Something is like a blessing in disguise. Yeah. Collective, so your dreams are coming true, but it's a secret. Something is being kept from you or you don't see it yet. You don't see the manifestations or you don't. Yeah, something is a blessing in disguise. So you were born to be a legend. 
So collective, your dreams are coming true, but what's hidden a secret is that you were born to be a legend. Hmm. Yeah. So collective, I'm hearing you're gonna have to be patient with the process. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with spirit. Be patient with the most high. Because you were born to be a legend. And collective, you probably don't feel like it because of your circumstances. The reality. Um, collective, you're going to probably have to live by faith or learn how to live by faith. Live by trusting. You have to trust. Because who you are, collective, is not what's going on. So, the, yeah. So dreams are coming true for you, but something is, is hidden secrets here. And the secret is you were born to be a legend collective. So you're going to have to trust and be patient with the universe. Trust and be patient with the most high. And try to stay positive collective. Somebody could be going through a dark night of soul, dark night of the soul. But nonetheless, collective, you're protected. You got synchronicities here, angel numbers. This is like protection. This is like your um, angels, your spirit guides, and things like that. So you're protected. You're being guided. Or somebody could be going through a dark night of the soul. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we got protection. Yeah, what I said. Protection flew out. And what's here? We got wisdom. All right. What's going on with the collective? All right. So we have stillness. Stillness. All right. So collective spirit wants you to be still and know that God is God. Be still and know that God is God. Stillness. Give me a message for stillness. Let me, where the book at? Let me read the book. Where's the book? Where is, here we go. So stillness. So that's your overall energy is stillness. Let me read it. And then I open the book and it's at protection. So collective, you're protected. You're protected. Your union is protected. You and your twin is protected. Your home is protected. Your family is protected. You're protected, collective. So Okay, so it's a frozen tundra. So, collective, you could be upset at somebody. Your heart could be frozen. You could be numb. Your emotions is frozen. You could be very upset. You could be very discouraged. All right, so it's saying, no, not that. I'm not going to read that. Okay, the sacred landscapes wants you to know, take a step back from a project, situation, or relationship, even if for a just, even if for just a few moments. Mend bridges, slow down, breathe, be still. Go within, listen to your inner voice, take time to connect with your spirit guides, ancestors, and spiritual guardians. Excuse me. Listen to your higher self. Timing is everything. This is not a good time to start a new cycle. Wait. Incubate. Fix things that need fixing. Heal things that need healing. Think, think things through. Forgive yourself and others. If things seem barren or even bleak, hold on. Just as the migrating, the migrating birds find new life in the tundra, marshes, in the summer, you too will expand once again during the coming thaw in your life. So, collective, that's your message. That's your overall energy. That's what spirit wants you to know. Stillness. So, collective, you're going to have to be patient. Because some things are going to change for the better. You just have to give it time. All right. Give me a message for the collective with stillness. Give me a message. So I'm hearing things are going to get better. You just got to be patient. Things are going to get better.
a collective, you got to be positive. You got to remain positive. All right, so Voodoo and Blue back off. It came out in reverse. So, collective, you could be pushing somebody away that you shouldn't be pushing away. Collective, you're pushing somebody away that you should not be pushing away. Or collective, yeah. This can, yeah, back off is in reverse. So, yeah, collective, don't give up. Remain positive. So, like I said, collective, you could you could be contemplating divorcing somebody, changing the locks. Um, you want to renege on some type of contract. You're contemplating reneging on a contract. You want something or somebody to back off, but it's in reverse. So something or somebody is not backing off, or this is telling me to tell you not to give up. So it's like collective, don't back off. Like, don't give up, don't back off. Collective, I'm also picking up, you might push your ancestors or your angels away. Or you're going to, like, reject your intuition. I'm hearing somebody don't want to hear it. So I'm going to just be quiet. Yeah. The spirit came out in reverse. Yeah. So collective, you could be scared because you think you're going to get fired or something. Or you think somebody is going to break up with you. Or collective, you're scared somebody is going to like break up with you. But the spirit is in reverse. Collective, you could be thinking the worst, but it's not going to happen. Somebody thinking the worst. But it's not going to happen. Somebody is thinking that somebody's going to dump them, break up with them. Or somebody's scared that they're going to get fired. But it's not going to happen. So, Collective, you could be going through something after the hours tonight. And you're going to find out, like, tomorrow or in the morning that everything's going to be all right. So, Collective, I don't know if your boss could have told you earlier today to, like, go home. And they'll call you back later to let you know if you still have your job or not. So you're worried, Collective. You're upset. This is concerning career, your job, or like a lover. Or Collective, something. You're waiting on results or something. Somebody's waiting on results and somebody's thinking the worst. And Collective, you think you're going to get rejected or you're going to end up in despair. But it's like, collective, if you be patient, you're going to be happy. You're not going to be in despair if you be patient and if you hold on. You're not going to lose your job. They're not going to fire you. Your lover is not going to leave you. They're not going to divorce you. I'm also picking up collective. You or somebody else want somebody to leave you alone. You want this person to leave you alone, but you don't collective. And this person is not going to leave you alone. They're not. And you're going to be happy that this person didn't leave you alone. When you was telling this person to leave, they're not going to leave or something like that. So somebody could just be going through some death that I was tonight. Somebody could also be afraid that they're going to get arrested. Collective, I'm also picking up, um, collective, if you're a man, you might have to turn yourself in and you scared that your, this, your lover is going to leave you like, cause you got to do jail time, but collective, your lover is not going to leave you. Somebody is afraid that their lover is going to leave them because they have to do jail time or something like that. All right, what's going on with the collective after the hours tonight? All right, we got the chariot. So, collective, you could be a cancer, dealing with a cancer. You got cancer in your chart. 
Yeah, this could this could be the police. Or somebody has obstacles to overcome. Or somebody's gonna experience a experience a victory after the hours tonight. So the chariot is the police. Somebody's gonna overcome an obstacle. Or something to do with a vehicle. The chariot. So somebody might be getting arrested after the hours tonight. Somebody might, like, um, what you call it, a raid. Somebody's going to be served with a warrant after the hours tonight, and they're going to jail. Somebody's going to jail, but... Something like that. Somebody might go to jail. Somebody's going to be served with a warrant um, or something like that. Or so, that's somebody's fear. Somebody think the cops is after them or something. <laughs> Somebody probably think the cops is after them or something. Clear out the chariot. Or somebody is like on the run. And somebody is afraid that somebody is setting them up. So somebody could be on the run. And somebody would say, come to my house or come with me. But this person that's on the run don't really trust this person. So somebody that's in like a vulnerable situation, they don't know if they can trust somebody. But collective, you can trust this person. Somebody can trust someone. So somebody's on the run. This is either of the 3D or the 5D. Somebody could be getting karma. Somebody could be going through a dark night of the soul and they're paranoid. Somebody don't know who to trust. But collective, you can trust this person. Clear out the chariot. So I'm picking up collective after dark hours tonight. You or somebody else is going to be confiding in someone. And somebody is just going to have to trust somebody. Somebody don't trust somebody because they're on the run. Or they have a guilty conscience. Excuse me. Or somebody's scared that somebody's going to call the cops on them or something. Clarify the chariot. Yeah, we got the three of swords. Somebody's trying to overcome heartbreak. Or somebody is heartbroken because somebody was cheating on them or something. Or somebody is scared that somebody is cheating on them. Collective, you or somebody else could be afraid that your lover is cheating on you. Somebody wants to be reassured that their lover is not cheating on them. Or somebody wants to be reassured that something is not a setup. Somebody feels as though somebody is setting them up with like the police or something. So we got Air, a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Clear by the Three of Swords. Yeah, we got Death. So collective view of somebody else could be a Scorpio or somebody could have Scorpio in their chart. Yeah, somebody could be definitely going through a dark dark night of the soul. Somebody could be paranoid. Somebody feels as though they're going to pass away. Um, somebody, yeah. Somebody is like in survival mode or somebody is like in panic mode. So somebody might have to calm somebody down. Somebody could be going through a dark night of the soul. Or somebody could be grieving like a past on loved one. Somebody could be grieving. Somebody could also be worried that their lover is going to leave them because somebody's like stuck in grief. And somebody is scared that their lover is going to leave them because they're grieving. They're heartbroken because somebody could have passed away. Somebody's scared that somebody is going to leave them or something like that. Somebody paranoid the moon. This could be disappointment or paranoia. It could be also a female. It's somebody that might find out they're pregnant after their hours tonight. And collective, you're afraid that this man is not going to want this baby 
or you're afraid that this man is going to tell you to get rid of the baby or he don't want the baby or something like that. So again, the moon is paranoia. Somebody could be disappointed or somebody is afraid because they're pregnant. And there's a woman out here that's scared that this man is going to tell her to get rid of the baby or something or he don't want the baby. Or it's a man out here, he don't know if the baby is his, but it is his. So it's a man out here that could have found out after I was tonight or earlier today that a woman is pregnant. And his worst fear is that the baby is not his. But I, the baby is his. It's a man that don't know. He's not sure if the, a child is his, but it is. So I see that too. Yeah, something like that going on. What's the spell with the stillness, voodoo, and blue reverse, and despair? Whew. Somebody could also be getting delivered from like some type of depression after our hours tonight. Or some type of anxiety or worry. Somebody's reassuring someone. Or somebody's being encouraged by their angels, ancestors, or spirit guides. Somebody's being encouraged after the hours tonight. And it could have put it could put an ending to, to like somebody's heartbreak. So collective, say like earlier today, you was having a bad day. You was just down and out. You had the blues. It's like collective after the hours tonight, for whatever reason, you feel better. Somebody feels better. Or somebody's gonna get some good news. What's the spell with stillness, the spirit in reverse, and voodoo in All right. So purpose. Someone who knows what they are meant to do in life, understands their life mission, plays no games, has the facts. All right. I'm hearing somebody want answers or somebody wanted answers earlier today. In collective, you're going to get the answer that you was looking for after the hours tonight. So now you know what you got to do because you got an answer to something. So this can even be like paternity results. Somebody is getting results about something and now they know their purpose. This person know what they have to do now. Somebody got an answer. What's this spell with the chimney? Yeah, controller. Constantly needing control of people, things, situations. Okay. So, somebody wanted to know if somebody really loved them or was they just trying to control them? Something. Or somebody's getting rid of a controller or a controller might go to jail. Collective, you probably had to call the cops on somebody that you really didn't want to, but you know it's the best thing to do. Somebody probably had to call the cops on somebody that they didn't want to. Or something like that. Or collective, you're learning how to let go of control. Somebody could be learning how to let go of control. Or somebody's learning how to trust. Or something like that. Somebody's learning how to be patient. What's the spell with the three of swords? Yeah, we got high vibes. High vibrational person, energy that feels good, light, and easy. Yeah. So somebody could be um letting go of a third party. Collective, you could be letting go of somebody that was um ciphering your energy. You could be letting go of somebody that loved to see you down and out. Somebody that loved to see you in despair. Somebody that wanted you to di divorce your lover or get divorced. Somebody that wanted to see you lose your job or break up with your lover.
collective, you could also be worried about a lover or a loved one. Somebody could be worried. Somebody could be scared that somebody is going to relapse. Clarify death. What's the spill with death? Yeah, having receipts. <laughs> Someone has been keeping tabs, taking notes on you, and keeping all your details. Yeah. So, collective, you're breaking free of somebody, or collective, you was like falsely perceiving a situation. So, collective, you was either dealing with the controller, or collective, you thought somebody was trying to control you. And that's not true. Somebody could have just been concerned about somebody. So it's the ending of somebody having receipts. Someone has been keeping tags, taking notes on you. And keeping all your details. So, collective, this is either true or this is what you was thinking. Like, something could have just been, like, a false perception or something. But it's the ending to something. It's the ending to somebody having receipts. Or it's the ending to somebody thinking that somebody's trying to set them up or something. Somebody was thinking somebody was setting them up. Collective, somebody who could have been trying to defeat you might get arrested after the hours tonight. Collective, somebody who was coming up against you like a controlling person, somebody might get arrested 3D or 5D after the hours tonight. So, collective, somebody could have been scared. Somebody could have been blackmailing somebody or something. But, collective, you don't have to worry because somebody is getting arrested. 3D or 5D. Somebody's getting karma or somebody going to jail. Or something like that. Collective, your lover's third party might also get arrested or something. Your lover's third party. Collective, you could have been intimidated by your lover's third party. But something might happen to your lover's third party after the hours tonight. Somebody, I heard somebody was scared shitless. Somebody was scared, like scared. Somebody was intimidating somebody or somebody was scared. This is crazy. Collective, somebody could have been trying to tell you that you're going to jail. And you're not. What's the scoop with this stillness? Voodoo and blue reverse. The spirit in reverse and purpose. Collective, somebody could have been jumping to conclusions. So, collective, you could have been jumping to conclusions. Collective, I'm also picking up. Somebody could be getting high. Collective, you're either drinking or you're smoking. And you're paranoid. You're jumping to conclusions. So, Collective, you might need to chill out and let your high go down. You may be jumping to conclusions without all the information. So, somebody could be bugging a little bit after their hours tonight. Or somebody was bugging earlier today. And they need to, like, sleep off this these drugs or whatever. Somebody could have been drinking. Somebody was thinking somebody was a threat or somebody was against them or somebody was thinking that somebody was going to call the cops on them. And collective, I think you was jumping to conclusions. You were somebody else. What's the scoop with the chariot and controller? 
caught up. Someone's actually start catching up to them. Yeah. Collective, I think whatever this is, you could have a guilty conscience. I don't know if somebody is thinking like the police is after them or something. Or somebody thinks that their lover found out something. But collective, I don't think your lover found out if you was cheating or something. <laughs> somebody got a guilty conscience and they paranoid. <laughs> <laughs> somebody got a guilty conscience and somebody is paranoid about something so somebody is scared that their actions are catching up to them but it's like somebody's jumping to conclusion somebody need to chill out what's the scoop with the three of swords and high vibes somebody could be getting high and they bugging leveling up <laughs> Somebody also might have to take a drink or get high to click to like calm down. <laughs> you are leveling up in life. Well, collective, your hater, enemy, or foe, or karmic could be getting karma. Somebody might end up in jail, collective, because you're leveling up. You're no longer in despair. You're not um, trauma bonding with someone. You don't want to be negative. You don't want to talk about negativity. So it's like collective, somebody could be heartbroken about your high vibes because you're leveling up. And this could be energetically. And collective, somebody is like heartbroken because you have high vibes. Or collective, you, you're like the chariot and you're going to overcome a controller. So collective, this is like somebody coming around you to purposefully... Put you in a low vibration to make you think negative. To make you think you're going to get fired. To make you think your lover is cheating on you. So collective, you're like going to arrest somebody in your life that was bringing down your, your vibration. A controller. And this person's actions are catching up to them. Because collective, this person did this to you one too many times. And you might rebuke somebody after their hours tonight. Collective, you might tell this person you don't want to hear it. You don't want to talk about it. You don't want to hear it. Or something like that. What's the school with death and having receipts? Yeah, angel numbers. Mm -hmm. Collective, you're protected. You may be seeing a lot of numbers, number synchronicities at this time. Somebody could be going through a dark night in the soul or somebody is like getting high or something and they're tripping. <laughs> somebody thinks somebody after them. <laughs> or it could be the ending. Somebody could be coming out of a dark night in the soul. Somebody could be sobering up <laughs> from like earlier today. <laughs> Collective, you could be dealing with somebody that's going through a dark night in the soul or somebody high or something. <laughs> What in the world? <laughs> collective, either you're the one who's high and you're bugging or you're paranoid. Or collective, you was dealing with somebody that was high, somebody that was bugging, or somebody that was paranoid. Collective, somebody, I don't know if somebody was thinking that you was going to call the cops on them or something. Or you was thinking that somebody was going to call the cops on you or something. So, this controller energy is either true or this is like in somebody's mind because they're paranoid or something. What's the tea with stillness, despair in reverse, and voodoo in blue? Collective, you might confront somebody after dark hours tonight because you could have been suspicious of someone or somebody was suspicious of you. But it's like collective, you and somebody else might sit down and have a conversation and clear the air. And then you're going to come out of despair. <clears throat> it's like collective, you might have to straight up like confront somebody and just ask them. And when you have a conversation with this person collective, you're going to realize that you could have been jumping to conclusions. And you're going to come out of despair or something. Or something like that. 
What's the T with stillness, the scare in reverse, voodoo and blue in reverse, purpose and jump to conclusion? Legal issues, yeah. <laughs> Court judges, immigration lawyers. Somebody was thinking something. Or collective, I'm picking up that if somebody was coming up against you, if your suspicions are correct, this person is not going to be able to, to, to do harm to you after dark hours tonight. Collective, I don't know if you was wrong or right, but collective, if somebody was like blackmailing you or something, this person is going to jail, whether it's 3D or 5D. So whoever was like trying to clown you or control you, collective, you, you're the spare in reverse about legal issues. Collective, somebody could have been trying to give you their karma and it's not going to work. Somebody wanted you to be in despair about their legal issues or somebody was trying to like pin a crime on you or blame something or you on you or wanted to guilt trip you. But it's not going to work after the hours tonight. What's the tea with the chariot controller and caught up? Love on the brain, dreaming, fantasizing, daydreaming, and nostalgic. So, Collective, you could be interacting with a lover. Collective, if you a man, you might confront a lover, a potential lover, or an ex-lover about something that could have happened to you in the past. Collective, you was thinking that one of your lovers could have set you up or something. Collective, if you a man, you didn't trust a lover. You love this lover, but you didn't trust this lover. So, Collective, you might come, like, just say something or... Have a conversation with your lover, like to clear the air. So collective, you think a lover was trying to set you up or collective, you think your lover set you up in the past or something. Or collective, you scared that your lover was cheating on you or something. But collective, you could be paranoid because it's a guilty conscience. Collective, you could be Paranoid, you jump into conclusions about your lover cheating on you because you was cheating or something like that. And somebody need to calm down. What's the tea with the three of swords, high vibes, and leveling up? <laughs> yeah, last chance. They lost their chance or you did. Yeah. Collective, if somebody was literally coming up against you, they're going to lose their chance to offend you. Because, like, collective, you're leveling up and you're being very high vibrational about, like, some heartbreak. So, somebody's going to lose their chance to offend you or lower your vibration or to, like, set you up or something. Somebody could be trying to cause somebody to be paranoid on purpose. And, collective, they're going to lose their chance with you. Because you're high vibrational about like some type of heartbreak or something. Or like a possible betrayal. Or collective, you was thinking that you lost your chance. Or collective, you was paranoid because you was thinking that your lover found out that you was um, cheating. But collective, I don't think your lover found out. You just paranoid. I don't think your lover know. Or if your lover do know, it's like collective, your lover is not going to leave you or they're not going to divorce you. You just have a guilty conscience. What's the tea with death, angel numbers, or having received? Yeah, moving on. Thank you, Max. <laughs> yeah. Collective, you also could have been worried that your third party was going to tell your lover that you was cheating. So somebody's third party could have been blackmailing them. And collective, you scared because you think your third party told your lover, but I don't think they did. Or something like that. Or collective, you scared that somebody going to snitch on you? Because whether it's work, love, or life. Somebody's scared that somebody is going to move on. Thank you, next. Because somebody had receipts. Somebody is scared that they're going to get caught or something. But collective, somebody is not going to get caught. <clears throat> Collective.
Collective, if you a man, I don't know. Collective, you could have did something fraudulently. So, Collective, you could have bought your girlfriend a car or your Divine Feminine a car. Or you could have purchased your Divine Feminine like a house or something. But you could have did something fraudulently, Collective, to get this house. Or you're doing something fraudulently to maintain something that you purchased for a lover. And collective, you scared that the cops is coming, but they're not. It's just you having a guilty conscience. It's just as simple as that. But spirit understand. He understands. Spirit know what you did. I see that too. Somebody did something, but it was for the good. Like a man could have like falsified some documents or whatever. To purchase his divine feminine a car or a home or something. And this man is scared to death because he thinks that the police is after him. But they're not. It's just this man got a guilty conscience. Or collective, if you're a man, you're doing something fraudulently to maintain a gift that you purchased for your twin. So you could have purchased her a car or house or something. And collective, you could be doing something illegal to maintain your gift that you purchased for your lover. And you paranoid. Collective, you think somebody got receipts and that somebody gonna move on and leave you when they find out. <clears throat> or collective, you might confess something to get something off your chest. Somebody might confess as well after their albums tonight. But collective, it's not gonna go the way you thought it would go. Somebody's going to confess something to like a lover or something. Collective, you could have had a secret. Collective, you have a secret or collective, your lover is going to tell you a secret. And whoever was holding a secret is scared that their lover is, like, going to call the cops on them or something. But Collective, the cards is telling you that's not going to happen. So, something like that. Somebody might confess something to a lover. And this person was, like, afraid that their lover would call, like, authorities on them. Or that their lover would leave them or divorce them. But collective, your lover is not going to call the cops on you. They're not going to divorce you and they're not going to leave you. So you got to remain positive about some type of secret. Somebody keeping a secret. Or somebody that was blackmailing somebody is going to jail. Somebody could be going to jail. And it's like a weight lifted off somebody's shoulder. Because somebody going to jail. Or something like that. Alright, give me a charm card for stillness. And all this energy with stillness. Yeah, smoothed over. Yeah. Collective. Um, If somebody was coming up against you, trying to blackmail you or something... It's like collective, um, somebody's getting karma. This is my card for divine, divine vengeance. So collective, I'm also picking up. If you're in the wrong, if you're like in the wrong or you have a guilty conscience, you could have, you could have obtained something illegally or somebody's cheating on their lover. Collective, what's going on with you after dark hours tonight is your conscience is driving you crazy. It's your conscience. But collective, your lover don't know nothing. Your lover don't know what you did. The authorities don't know what you did. Nobody knows. It's your conscience bothering you. So this is divine judge. This is like divine, my card for divine judgment or divine justice. So something's getting smoothed over. Collective, this could just be your conscience messing with you. It's like you're not exposed to like the 3D. You're exposed to the 5D. So spirit is aware of what you what you did, but the authorities don't know what you did or something like that. So somebody just need to calm down before you like tell on yourself. Somebody need to calm down before they tell on themselves. 
or spirit is showing you this is what happens when you do wrong. So collective, I don't know what you did. This is just what happens. Like you drive yourself crazy. You can't escape your conscience. You can't escape the um the most high. Even when people don't know what you did, the most high know what you did. And your conscience. Somebody's conscience could be eating them up. Or collective, um, if somebody was coming up against you, spirit is defending you after the hours tonight. What's the, give me a charm card for the chariot and this energy that's on the chariot. Yeah, a sweet surprise. <clears throat> Somebody could be in for a rude awakening. Or collective, you was thinking the worst, but that's not going to happen. Somebody was jumping to the conclusion. Somebody could actually be in for a sweet surprise. But somebody was thinking like the worst. Give me a charm card for the Three of Swords and this energy that's on the Three of Swords. Give me a charm card for that. Yeah, skull and crossbones caution. <laughs> yeah. Somebody needs to be careful. Somebody do need to be careful. So, collective, you need to be careful because I'm picking up collective. You could be guilty as hell about something. And you need to be careful, Collective, before you tell on yourself and end up in 3D jail when you didn't have to be. Somebody could be in 5D jail, but they're not in 3D, 3D jail. And it's like, Collective, if, you don't, if you're not careful, you're going to end up telling on yourself and you're going to end up in 3D jail. So somebody need to be careful. Caution. Or somebody could be thinking about cheating and spirit is telling you to be careful of this third party. Somebody need to be careful of their third party. Somebody could be married or in union or whatever. And spirit is telling you to be careful, caution the third party. Stay away from your third party. Well, give me a charm card for death and this energy that's on death energy. Give me a charm card for that. Yeah, Harlequin masking. Yeah. Somebody's dealing with a third party. Somebody's dealing with a third party. And this is my card for like a stalker. This is like a lover who would go through great limbs to see a lover. So this is somebody that would put like would disguise themselves. Something like Mrs. Doubtfire energy. Somebody that has sit outside your house and put like on a wig or something. Or be in disguise to like spy on their lover. The Harlequin masking. So collective, somebody's third party could have been black melanin. Somebody's third party could have been acting up. And collective, you could be scared that your lover could have found out. But I don't think your lover know. Somebody's third party could have been harassing them. Collective, you could be a male or a female. And this is your ex or collective, you was cheating on your lover. And your third party is like acting up. And you scared that your lover is going to find out. But collective, your third party might end up in jail. Or something like that. Somebody's third party might end up in jail. Or collective, you scared or you suspicious that your lover is messing around with their ex. <clears throat> Somebody could be paranoid and thinking that their lover is messing around with their ex or something. <laughs> I also see in the cards, <laughs> collective, you was, you or somebody else, you was involved with your lover. And your lover's third party got dirt on you. Your lover's third party. It's like collective. Your lover was cheating on you. But you couldn't say nothing because your lover's third party got dirt on you. So, But it's like collective. After dark hours tonight, your lover's third party is like going to jail or something. Somebody was putting somebody in a situation. 
or collective your lover's third party was aware of your third party so it's like collective even though you knew your lover was cheating on you you couldn't say nothing because your lover's third party had dirt on you or something like that but it's going to be an ending to somebody being being in like a sticky situation or being in like a dilemma or somebody being blackmailed. It's the ending of somebody being blackmailed. Collective, somebody could have been trying to convince you to change your mind. I don't know what this is. Collective, somebody was trying to convince you to change your mind or to give up on something. But the angels is telling you don't. Because somebody going to jail. Somebody's going to jail. 3D or 5D. So, Collective Spirit is telling you, you don't have to, like, give up. You don't have to change your mind. I'm also hearing, Collective, you don't even got to confess. You don't have to tell nobody because somebody who is, like, blackmailing you is going to jail. So, Collective, you don't have to, like, Collective, whatever this is, if this is blackmail, this is like something that you did in the past. This is not something that you're not a repeated offender. Whatever this is, this person is blackmailing you. This is not something you keep doing. This is something you did in the past. Somebody knew about it and then they just was blackmailing you. <sighs> Collective, your angels, is, the angels want you to be positive and be patient. Collective, this can even be your lover, like, playing games with you. Collective, it's like your lover is telling you, I'm leaving you, I'm divorcing you. But it's like, Collective, your lover not going nowhere. They not going nowhere. Both of y'all probably be cheating on each other or something like that. But it's like, Collective, don't... Somebody's thinking about confessing something, giving up, turning themselves in, or... But the angels is telling you, don't. Don't. Don't reconsider. Don't give up and remain positive. So somebody's trying to intimidate somebody. Somebody could be saying that they got evidence and they really don't. Or collective, you paranoid as hell and you got to go sit down because you could be like intoxicated and somebody need to go sit down somewhere. Or something like that. I also just heard too that someone who could be listening to my tarot reading or somebody is listening to tarot after dark hours tonight. Collective, you need to remain positive about like this reading that you're hearing. And you need to like be patient and let something work out naturally. Like don't jump to conclusions because you're listening to like a reading. If it's not a personal reading, it's like collective. You can't jump to conclusions about a general reading that's for the public. Somebody is thinking about making like a major life decision because of a general tarot reading. And collective, the angels is telling you no, no. The reading sounds like it resonates with you. The reading could be on point. The reading could be accurate. But it's still not your situation collective or something like that. So the angels is telling you stay positive. You listening to a reading, it seems like it resonates with you. But you got to stay positive collective. Somebody like paranoid or they listening to a tarot reading. And somebody getting ready to take action and spirit is saying no. Like, be patient, and you will see that that tarot reading wasn't for you, even though you felt as though it was, that tarot reading wasn't for you, or something like that. Or somebody thinks somebody after them. <laughs> somebody thinks somebody after them. Yeah. But collective, that's what's going on after our hours tonight. Um, yeah.
Yeah, somebody was harassing somebody. Collective, it could have been your ex. Your ex might, somebody's ex might go to jail. Yeah, something like that. Or somebody that was harassing somebody. This can even be a crazy neighbor. Collective, somebody could have been like stalking you, harassing you. Had a, like a weird fetish. Somebody going to jail. That was coming up against you. Or something. So this can even be like your neighbors. Somebody got crazy neighbors or something. It's like collective, your neighbors might go to jail. Collective, you could have been considering moving because of your neighbors. And spirit is telling you, be patient, just hold on. Because somebody going to jail. Yeah, collective, your neighbors could have been harassing you or something. But somebody going to jail. Yep. Somebody going to jail after their hours tonight. Yeah. I'm also picking up two collective earlier today or after our hours tonight. Two people might end up in jail. Collective, somebody's lying on somebody. But it's saying it's saying collective remain positive. Because somebody's gonna get to the bottom of the truth and justice is gonna be served. So collective, say like you or somebody else is involved in like a domestic violence. It's like collective, two people going to jail, but somebody lying on somebody. Somebody's lying on somebody and like somebody's going to figure out that, figure out who's lying or something like that. So collective, you could be tempted to go get, go get a lawyer or something. And spirit is telling you, don't waste your money. Don't go get a lawyer because justice is going to be served. Collective, somebody could have lied like on your loved one or your lover. And spirit is saying, don't, don't jump to conclusions. Like somebody is going to clearly see that somebody gave a false statement. Two people could have got arrested, but somebody after everything gets squared away, somebody is going to realize it could be the judge or something. Somebody is going to figure out that somebody lied on somebody and somebody's charges might get dropped. So it's like collective. Don't even waste your time going to get a lawyer. Like, don't even do that. Like stay positive. If you know you're innocent or you know the other party is innocent, just be patient. Because the judge or the jury or whoever is going to realize that somebody lied on somebody. Or gave a false statement or something. Or somebody was falsely arrested. And some charges or something might get dropped. <clears throat> yeah, because legal issues is here. I just heard it again. Justice is going to be served after the hours tonight. Justice is going to be served. 3D or 5D. Justice is going to be served. Yeah. So collective, remain positive while you endure or you're aware of an injustice. Just remain positive and be patient because somebody going to jail. So remain positive, collective. The best you can. Because there's an injustice that's going on. And Collective, I'm also picking up too for some of y'all. Y'all have some crazy neighbors. And Collective, you're thinking, you're even considering moving. Like you just purchased this house. So somebody could be having home buyer's remorse because of their neighbors. And Collective Spirit is telling you don't move. Like you, you don't have to move. Or something like that. Somebody's neighbors or crazy neighbors going to jail. Or something like that. But let me end it. This is Blood Queen Tarot. Collective, you could be a Pisces dealing with a Pisces or somebody could have Pisces in their chart. So, this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. And um, collective, enjoy your night and thanks.